Entering into the first days of Miami Dolphins training camp this upcoming week, Dolphins head coach Brian Flores would likely tell you that every position on the roster is open to be won. But financially speaking and from a team development perspective, there are just some things that we can't see going in a different direction than the assumed starter. Which is which defensively, here are the defensive positions for the Dolphins in each spot in the starting lineup's most likely status as either open, closed or in between defensive ends, closed. Consider Miami in a base front, with three down linemen on the field. You know exactly who you're going to get at defensive end, Christian Wilkins and likely Emmanuel Ogba. Zach Sealer may make an appearance depending on personnel and the weekly opponent, but consider Wilkins and Ogba, your two most highly invested players at the position, to be the ones taking up the starting roles. Nose tackle, closed. Last we checked, 2020 rookie Raekwon Davis had a monstrous finish to the season. And, given how well he played and the well-established memes of Brian Flores reacting to Davis being a pick in 2020, we're willing to bet this job is considered open and shut. Rush linebackers, somewhat open. Look for first-round draft choice Jalen Phillips to make a big impact here, particularly on third downs. Opposite of him, we expect to see plenty of Andrew Van Ginkel screaming off the edge. But will Phillips command a full-time role right away? Will a returning Vince Beagle have anything to say about who is getting reps here in the early downs? There's enough questions here to consider one of these starting jobs somewhat open, although expect Phillips to be the guy on third down regardless. Inside, stack linebackers, closed. The Dolphins just paid Jerome Baker a hefty extension and brought in veteran Benardrick McKinney this offseason that duo does not appear to have much competition for the starting roles. Given the pay of both players, you'd expect that, too. Perimeter cornerbacks, closed. Speaking of hefty pay, Miami still has Xavier Howard and Byron Jones under contract as one of the most expensive cornerback duos in all of football. And they may get even more expensive depending on what Xavier Howard's situation brings. Alternatively, we may also get a trade of Howard to another team, which would open the spot opposite Jones for plenty of competition between Jason McCourty, Noah Igbenogany and others. Nickel back, wide open. How open can you possibly be? Think of the most open you've ever seen anything in your life. This spot is more open than that. There may actually be a picture of this spot on the Dolphins depth chart in the dictionary next to the word, open. Nick Needham, Noah Igbenogany, Justin Coleman, Cravon LeBlanc. Miami will have no shortage of options. And this doesn't even get into when Miami plays big nickel with three safeties on the field, either. Free safety, somewhat open. This job is Javon Holland's to lose. It is pretty telling that the Dolphins cut Bobby McCain after Holland was secured and the reports out of South Florida indicate Miami is quite pleased with Holland's early glimpses of football intelligence. He'll still need to apply that to the field and shut the door on any other option, however. And we know well that this regime won't give rookies handouts if they're not earned. Strong safety, closed. Eric Rowe is one of the better tight end coverage options at safety in the league. He's done well over the last year and a half in that role. Brandon Jones has something to offer here, too, but we expect Rowe, as one of the team leaders and experienced veterans, to maintain his hold on the starting job.